Lanza del Vasto, born Giuseppe Giovanni Luigi Maria Enrico Lanza di Trebia Branciforti, the 29th of September 1901 to the 6th of January 1981, was a philosopher, poet, artist, Catholic, and nonviolent activist. He was born in San Vito dei Normanni, Italy, and died in Murcia, Spain. A Western disciple of Mohandas K. Gandhi, he worked for inter-religious dialogue, spiritual renewal, ecological activism, and nonviolence. Youth in Italy His father, Don Luigi Giuseppe Lanza di Trebia Branciforti, was Sicilian and his mother, Anne-Marie Henriette Notz Odenkoven, was born in Antwerp, in Belgium. Very early he travelled in Italy and Europe. He entered the University of Pisa in 1922. Meeting Gandhi In December 1936, Lanza went to India, joining the movement for Indian independence led by Gandhi. He knew of Gandhi through a book by Roman Rolland. He spent six months with the Mahatma, then in June 1937, went to the source of the Ganges River in the Himalayas, a famous pilgrimage site. There he saw a vision which told him, Go back and found. He then left India and went back to Europe. In 1938, he went to Palestine, then in the midst of civil war, to Jerusalem and Bethlehem, between two lines of tanks. He came back to Paris at the time when the Second World War started. He wrote some books of poetry and in 1943 published the story of his trip to India, Return to the Source, which became a huge success. <laughs> Foundation of the Ark He founded the Community of the Ark in 1948 which first met with many difficulties. In 1954, he went back to India to participate in non-violent anti-feudal struggles with Vinoba Bhavi. In 1962 the Community of the Ark settled in Hot Languedoc, in the south of France, at La Bora Noble, near Lodeve, in a deserted village. After numbering over a hundred members in the 1970s and 1980s, some communities were closed in the 1990s due to conflicts, aging population under 30 members and a lack of interest in their work and lifestyle. Since 2000, groups are present in a few regions of France, in Belgium, Spain, Italy, Ecuador and Canada. Nonviolent struggles In 1957, during the Algerian War, Del Vasto started with other well-known people General de Ballardier, François Mauriac, Robert Barrett, etc. a movement of protest against torture. He fasted for 21 days. In 1958, he demonstrated against the nuclear power plant in Marcoul, France, which produced plutonium for nuclear weapons. In 1963, he fasted for 40 days in Rome during the Second Vatican Council, asking Pope John XXIII to stand against war. Poor demander au pape de prendre position contre la guerre. In 1965 he was at the Universidad Nacional de la Plata, Argentina, talking about non-violence during weeks with the students. In 1972, he supported the farmers of the Larzac Plateau against the extension of a military base while fasting for 15 days. In 1974 a community of the Ark settled in the Larzac in a farmhouse bought by the army. In 1976, he participated in the demonstrations against the building of the fast breeder reactor Superphonix at Cres Malville, Azir, France. <laughs> Death In January 1981, Del Vasto was working to found a new community in Elche de la Sierra when on January 5, he had a brain hemorrhage and was taken to the hospital of Ciudad Sanitaria Virgen de la Arijaca in Murcia. He died there on January 6. See also List of peace activists Topic. Bibliography Ballades aux dames du temps présent, Paris, 1923. 
Conquiste du Vento, Florence, 1927. Fantasia Naturna, Teatra, Florence, 1927. Judas, Rake at Biblique, Grasset, 1938, Gallimard, 1992. Le Chiffre des Choses, Poesies, Robert Lafont, 1942. Le Pèlerinage aux Sources, Denol, 1943 Gallimard 1989, La Rocher, 1993. Dialogue de l'Amitié, avec Luc Dietrich Lafont, 1942, 1993. Schwa, Poesies, Le Soy, 1944. Le Marquet des Roys, Théâtre, R. Lafont, 1944. Principes et préceptes du retour à l'évidence, Denol, 1945, La Rocher, 1996 sous le titre Ilage de la vie simple. Le Baron de Carens, bilingue, poème épique traduit du vieux Sicilien, Le Soy, 1946. La Passion, Théâtre, Grasset, 1951. Commentaire de l'Evangile, Denol, 1951, La Rocher, 1994. Histoire d'une amitié, dans l'injuste grandeur de Luc Dietrich, Denol, 1951, La Rocher, 1993. Vinoba, Ola Nouveau Pèlerinage, Denol, 1954, Gallimard, 1982. Préfaces aux huit ouvrages de la collection Pensée Gandienne, Denol, 1985 1965. Les quatre fléaux, Philosophie, Denol, 1959, La Rocher, 1993. Pacification and Algorie, O Mensong et Violence, Edition Clandestine, 1960, Larmaton, 1988. Approches de la vie intérieure, Denol, 1962, La Rocher, 1992. Noé, Théâtre, Denol, 1965. La Monte des Ames Vivantes, Denol, 1968. L'homme libre et les ains sauvages, Denol, 1969 et 1987. La Trinité Spirituelle, Philosophie, Denol, 1971, La Rocher, 1994. Technique de la non-violence, Denol, 1971, Gallimard, 1988. Préface au message retrouvé de Louis Cato, Nombreuses traductions en Castilian, Catalan, Italian, Anglais, Allemand, Portuguese, Denol, 1956. L'archive pour voilure une vigne, Denol, 1978, 1982. Les Etymologies Imaginaires, Verite, Vi et Vertu des Mots, Denol, 1985, ISBN 2207230090 David Berger, Théâtre, Lion de Judas, 1988. Pour éviter la fin du monde, La Rocher, 1991. Le Vatique, Two Tomes, La Rocher, 1991. Les Quatre Piliers de la Paix, La Rocher, 1992. Le Grand Retour, La Roche, 1993. ISBN 2268015343. Pages d'enseignement, La Roche, 1993. ISBN 2268016072. Books in English Return to the Source, Schocken, New York, 1972. Includes an account of Shantidas's stay with Gandhi, ISBN 0805234411. Make Straight the Way of the Lord, an anthology of the philosophical writings of Lanza del Vasto, Knopf, New York, 1974. ISBN 0394493877. Warriors of Peace, Writings on the Technique of Nonviolence, Knopf, New York, 1974. ISBN 0394709330. Principles and Precepts of the Return to the Obvious, Schocken, New York, 1974, ISBN 9780805235364 originally published in French under the title Principes et préceptes du retour à l'évidence. Editions Denol, Paris, 1945. Gandhi to Vinoba, The New Pilgrimage, Schocken, New York, 1974. 
ISBN 0805235544X reprint from Ryder, London, 1956 translated by Philip Leon from Vinoba, Ola Nouveau Pelerinage, Denoel, 1954. Essays on Lanza del Vasto Qui est Lanza del Vasto, by Jacques Madal Lanza del Vasto, by Arnaud de Marroy Segers, 1965. Dialogues avec Lanza del Vasto, by René Domerc Alban Michel. Les Facettes de Cristal, Interviews with Claude-Henri Roquet Editions du Centurion Lanza del Vasto, Savai, Sun Ouvre, Sun Message, by Arnaud de Marroy Dangles. <laughs> Citations <laughs>